Good afternoon, everybody. It's Wednesday. We are here. We are almost on time, but I already got a text from Meg Warnica with an alarm clock that we're late. But actually, we're early for me and Bob because we're always late, if that makes sense. So <laughs> I've often there been, you have it. <laughs> often been known as the late Bob Randall. <clears throat> ah. So hmm. it's okay. It's not my fault. Not sure about that title. It's so, always... But it, we are here, and today it's still okay out there, whereas tonight it's supposed to change into some kind of a monsoon. But we know that everybody will be making it here today, uh, tomorrow anyway, for uh, services. Yes. So, and, um, and so we are going to talk a little bit as we do noon, noonday prayers, <clears throat> and I will come and join you. I don't see any comments saying our sound is not working, so I'm yeah. going to presume we're in good I'm shape. I'm hoping we're good. With so that. And, uh, wave or do something if it's not okay, because we do want to know and make it right if we can. So it is Wednesday of Holy, holy Week. Holy Week. And, uh, and so we are coming to the most holy days of the whole church yes, calendar for sure. And, uh, but we're going to begin with reading Noonday Prayers, beginning on page 103. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, now, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. We're going to be reading Psalm 70 today, found on page 682. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those who seek my life be ashamed and altogether dismayed. Let those who take pleasure in my misfortune draw back and be disgraced. Let those who say to me, Aha, and gloat over me turn back. Because they are mm. ashamed. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say forever, Great is the Lord. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Come to me speedily, O God. You are my helper and my deliverer. O Lord, do not tarry. Glory, Glory to, the to the Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. So today I'm going to be reading from Hebrews chapter 12, starting at verse 1. So then, let's also run the race that is laid out in front of us. Since we have such a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let's throw off any extra baggage, get rid of the sin that trips us up, and fix our eyes on Jesus, faith's pioneer and perfecter. He endured the cross, ignoring the shame, and for the sake of the joy that was laid out in front of him, and sat down at the right side of God's throne. Think about the one who endured such opposition from sinners so that you won't be discouraged and you won't give up. The word of the Lord. Mm, thanks be to God. That's uh, part of one of my favorite sections in the letter to the Hebrews, mm -hmm. which is uh, just a very, very interesting um, section of Scripture that oftentimes doesn't get enough attention right. because it's a fairly complicated uh, argument that goes on through the letter. Mm -hmm. But this follows chapter 11, where in chapter 11, um, the writer the preacher goes through a list of all the way from the very beginning of Genesis, people who have run the race, right. who have done that work of uh, trying to be faithful in whatever their position in life was, and sometimes falling short, but no matter what, when they fell, getting back up and continuing Continue. on. Right. And it, it's, uh, it's sort of like a record of, uh, of the saints uh, right. all the way. Right. And, and I love this image of running the race with perseverance, mm -hmm. of always continuing on no matter what. Right. Well, that's, that's kind of all of us here on staff at Old Donation during Holy Week, for sure. And yeah. I mean, not just staff, I should <clears throat> qualify this, also parishioners that show up and are coming to the service and have dedicated themselves and right. want to have a more holy, holy week right, and, right. and be immersed in all of it. And if you think about all the people that are involved in making Holy Week work, wow! Um, think about the people on the altar guild who yes. have every day a different every sort day. of service right. to set up for, and some are quite complicated for yes. uh, for the altar guild. Mm -hmm. um, they move from uh, Tenebrae, where we've got the candelabra with the thirteen candles. 
um, on the in the uh, altar in the church to uh, washing of feet, right. uh, putting out the right bowls and, and towels, and, right. and also having communion, and then stripping of the altar. Right. Uh, it's, it's a quite complicated uh, week for the altar guild yeah, especially. There are so many logistics um, to make this week happen. Um, choir had been working yes. on special music for each of the days. Right. Um, all these things, um, it, it's, a, it's a glorious, beautiful, sacred and holy week mm -hmm. but it takes a lot of a lot of effort you have to persevere yeah and it, it's like a a special mm -hmm. dance with everybody together persevering mm -hmm. together to to make yeah. all this come together yeah. and happen yep yeah. and then it only really works if people come and participate yes, yes. Uh, as i tried to say in my sermon on sunday that the key to holy week is participation yes um that we really only can experience the true joy of Easter if we also participate in some way or other all through the week. Um, that um, Palm Sunday is the perfect day of participation with the, the palms l leading to the passion right. and all the people reading parts. Mm -hmm. And then each day is additive and no one typically can do all of the, the services, but right. um, you do whatever you can but that Palm Sunday participation leading into all of these detail services yes. and then all the way to Easter Vigil and Easter Sunday. It's an amazing experience. It is pretty amazing what yeah. all happens. Yeah. And um, I mean, before I worked at a church, I, I was aware that things were pretty busy, having yeah. a priest in my That's family right. and everything, yep. so things were busy. But y you don't get a true feel of what all is happening until yeah. you're really immersed here, right. doing that background work, mm -hmm. and then being a participant in yeah. the church, yeah. in the pews during right. all of this. So much of that is just like life, isn't it? It is. I mean, you don't really ex understand what happens until you actually experience it. Right. Um, who knows what it is like to raise a child? Until suddenly you're driving home with a child in the back <laughs> seat, and you're like, "Holy cow! How, you know what right. were we thinking? Yeah. Who, yeah. who put yeah. us in charge?" <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and all the things that you learn that you may have heard somebody refer to, right? Uh, all of a sudden, take on real meaning. Yes. With the with the depths of shall I say suffering? Yeah, uh, <laughs> true. Uh, but also, <laughs> also the, the joys yeah, of better. that relationship and right. building uh, and seeing someone grow into themselves over right. decades. Yeah. Um, you can't explain that. No. Um, it's only by getting in the middle of it and having to do the, do the diapers. One of my friends in seminary used to say the most holy activity of all is cleaning diapers. It's cleaning a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and in truth, Holy Week works that way for us. Um, right. Not everybody enjoys getting their feet washed, right. but when you do it, you actually get a feel for what it might have been like to have Jesus wash the disciples' feet. Right. And when you then wash someone else's feet, mm -hmm. you get an experience of what it feels like to actually be in that sort of intimate relationship with somebody where they're willing to let you wash their feet. Right. Um, and then touching their feet and rinsing them off and drying mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and then helping them get their shoe back on. Right. Uh, it really there is... There is uh, definitely it, an intimacy it, there. An, yeah. Breaking down boundaries. Right. Yeah. Yep. All of that. So... Um, all through the week, we'll have different opportunities. Uh, yeah. Tonight is a s service of Tenebrae, which is a service of darkness, uh, really uh, a series of different kinds of readings that help us understand what the, the week of Holy Week is about, because it leads toward darkness right. with a single light. Right, and we've changed that up a little bit this year with yeah. a lot more music. A lot more music and uh, and some chant. It's going to be really a beautiful experience, mm -hmm. so I'm really looking forward to that. Tomorrow we'll have the, the traditional Monday Thursday with the washing of feet, Holy Communion, where Jesus established mm -hmm. what Eucharist is about, and then stripping of the altar, which is always it's an emotional yeah. uh, experience. Good Friday, Stations of the Cross at noontime, where we walk the way of the cross, 
and experience what it might have been like for Jesus right. on that day. Um, on the night preaching the cross, which mm -hmm. Fred Petit will bring to us on Friday night. And then Easter Vigil on Saturday is one of the best experiential services of all. Um, and uh, then, of course, Easter Sunday. Do not forget the Easter services are not the normal schedule. 8 o'clock, 9.15, and 11. 11 and 5. Yes. With 10.30, which is our normal service time, Easter egg hunt. Right. So um, don't miss that. And it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I think it's going to be perfect. Yeah. The yes. weather, uh, other than tomorrow for rain, it looks like we're going to have a beautiful weekend. Right. So I'm um, praying that that continues to hold true. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go back to noon prayers. Yes. But, um, <clears throat> but Holy Week is truly a week of running the marathon spiritually, yeah. but, um, but persevering and going Yes, on. lots okay. of perseverance in there. Yep. We're going to continue here. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom come, come your, your will be done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save, save us from the time of trial and, and deliver us from evil. evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Amen. And we invite your prayers um, silently or uh, aloud or typing them into Facebook where the community can join with you. On the Old Donation prayer list today, we have uh, uh, prayers for the repose of the soul of Irma Rosé, and we pray for Paul Verberg's family, that's his mother-in-law and uh, Jackie's mother. So we pray for that family in their time of grief and loss. We pray also for Harriet Woodhouse, Bruce's mother, Rosemary DeLacy, Judy Lee, Mark Robert Stevens, Joe Jacobs, Joanne House, Maggie Clickman, and Steve Russell, Sally Gordon, and Denise DeConti, Kathy Garrett, Ann Annis, Dick Cressig, Charlie Swift, Barbara Caffrey, Holly Payne, Jan Packard, Dave Jacques, Beck Saunders, Tony Succi, Pam Painter, Karen Entreri, Candy Berquist, Dave Wilkinson, Jen Morton, Mary Payton, Marina Robertson, Henry Vixelio, Anna Clark, Bill Chentry, Rick Williamson, Peter Hogg, Linda Lasta, Jan Hudson, Bridge Spangler, Alexandra Carter, Jennifer Lee, Ben Gentry, Edith Watakar, Chris Jones, and Rose Paludin. We pray also for God's vision of a beloved community to become our vision in this parish and uh, in our nation and world. Also for peace around the world, especially in Ukraine, Syria, Sudan, Gaza, and Israel. And for deployed personnel everywhere, especially Nick Rudnick. So um, I think that gets us for right now. We have some birthdays. Oh, good. No anniversaries. Okay. So today, I think it's the 27th today. Yes. I'm a little confused. Yes, it is. 27th. Star Lewis. Happy uh -huh. birthday, Star. Uh, tomorrow is Bonnie Bickerstaff and Carl Sturzing. Oh, good. So we've got good. some nice people to celebrate. Yep. yep. And yeah. as I said, no anniversaries. Hope and pray that <clears throat> they have wonderful, wonderful yes. birthday anniversaries. And um, all yes. is well with some of our favorite people. Yeah. So. so you've covered most of the announcements already. Uh, yeah. But I will add mm -hmm. that we do have 10 o'clock normal Holy Eucharist tomorrow morning on mm -hmm. Thursday right. for the 7 p.m. Thurs uh, Thursday service. service, bring your loose change oh, because yeah. the yep. loose change goes into the tub and it's it's powerful, the noise it makes as you drop it in. Right. And that money will go to the mission of the Holy Spirit. And it really is done to <clears throat> signify uh, symbolically um, the 30 pieces of silver that was given to Judas at the betrayal of Jesus that Judas then threw on the ground uh, and was later donated to be able to uh, help the poor. And so um, right. it's one of those things we do every year 
And it's mostly symbolic, but it really does make a powerful statement yes, in does. the service time as we leave. So, so please do that. And then Friday morning, we do. If you're an early bird, we do have a 7 a.m. morning prayer. Mm -hmm. so John Sherman will be leading that. Feel free to come add yep. that to your list of yep. worship services. And if you've never done Stations of the Cross, it's very powerful. Um, it's one of the favorite services of a number of our members that we've been doing, mm -hmm. and um, and so that's at noon on Friday. And then Fred Petit is preaching on Friday night at yes. 7 for the yeah. Good Friday passages. Okay? Yeah. I think that's all for right now. I think it is. Um, just walk with us as we walk the way of the cross this week. Okay? Definitely. God bless to all of you, and we will see you soon. Yes. Have a great day, everybody.